everybody welcome to vintage pokemon hunter bros and today you should slow down <laughs> today we are going to meet up with somebody and check out their collection of cards i have no idea what they have his name's freddy and i his name's freddy and i met him online <laughs> isn't like a girl like oh my god dad it's like a first date or something hey. no so this guy's name is freddy he was on uh, Houston Pokemon TCG page, and I just posted my last video on that page. It was like, hey, I live in Pearland. If anybody wants to share their collection with me, I'd love to check it out, put it on the channel. Freddy was the first guy to reply. He was like, yo, name the time. I'll be there. I go to Pearland all the time. So I was like, yeah. So I was like, you wanted basically, yeah, tomorrow, because I think I, I released the video Sunday. So he was like, dude, yeah, I'll come down there tomorrow. So I was like, dude, awesome. <laughs> That's how we talk now. No, I was like, yeah, let's do it. Pearland Coffee Roasters. So I could get my coffee. I used to drink coffee a lot. I still do, but I used to too. <laughs> okay, yeah. It's a Mitch Hedberg joke. If you guys know Mitch Hedberg, you're awesome. If you don't, you should Google him after watching my video and watch some of his stuff. He's one of the things that brought me and Jess together. He is the glue that holds our marriage together. <laughs> Mitch Hedberg. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about Pokemon. I have no idea what this guy's collection is going to look like. My guess is it's going to be modern stuff. So, I mean, that's cool. What should I do? I'm going to... I don't see anybody behind me, so we're going to have to take a little U-turn. I'm not going to trust that light. Yeah, so I'm thinking he's going to have modern stuff. So, I mean, it'll be cool. I still enjoy modern stuff. If he has some, like, cool, shiny, hidden fates, that'll be awesome. But I think he's also around my age. So, maybe, maybe he has his old collection. That would be absolutely killer. I'm just, I'm, <laughs> I'm a new YouTuber now, guys. I say dude and killer all the time. Get used to it. <laughs> no, I don't know why. I just honestly, I just woke up a while ago, so I can do this and probably bring wife some snacks. But yeah, I mean, if he has some cool new stuff, that's awesome. If he has old stuff, oh, like gym heroes and gym. all right. So this is why I'm really excited about where the channel's going with this moto vlogging and just seeing these people's collections or like hunting for cards is because one it doesn't cost me that much money i'm not buying and opening a whole bunch of other things two honestly this is a lot more exciting for me like i have no idea what sets i'm gonna see i have no idea why this guy collects maybe he's a flipper maybe he's not i don't think so He made it. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna check out his collection right now. I'm not more of a collector, I'm more of a player. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's actually cool to know. So uh, yeah, so these are gonna be like the awesome. Do you watch Tricky Jim? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love Tricky Jim. Yeah, yeah. so that, that that's all I really know about oh, okay. playing. And then I play a little bit of the TCG online game. Oh okay. to try to make those things. This is awesome. It's me. So you have all these different decks, and then, okay, I'll throw off yeah, the binder, just to play and, around then, and, and then I'll see, like, and then if you want to get, like, your favorite cards out of the deck or something, like the strong ones. I just got this one for this day, they're shining, but it's basically a uh, turbo-zation. Yeah. So do you win prizes and stuff? Like, how um, competitive are you? Well, for the team challenge, I made Strike Zone team challenge, mm -hmm. and I was awarded a Vivid, vivid Voltage Booster Box. No way! Yeah, just for making a team. Yeah, just for making a team. 
for and, making uh, so, the team or for making yeah, one? just for making the team. We haven't even started playing yet. Just, so, so you made the team. Do you have to pay something to get into? Nope. Online no. it was free. What? Online it was free. So you, so you go online and they sent you, or is it all? Is it a? Yeah, the organizer. Uh, his name is Miguel. Uh -huh. He's organizer for Strike Zone. Yeah. Yeah, he called me up. It was like, hey, I got something for you. I thought it was a play med, and he was like, nope. <laughs> it's a box. It's a booster box. <laughs> a whole booster box. Holy cow. That is insane. Okay, I'm going to start watching some more Tricky Gym. I'm gonna yeah, start those playing. are just mainly for trades. Um, okay. Like I said, I'm a casual player, so I'm not really a collector. I like the Amazing Rares. I don't have the Adults yeah, or the Kyogre. Really nice yeah, those are gorgeous. So if I were to get into playing competitively, what kind of advice would you give me? Maybe, like anybody like if they're like just getting out there and playing i mean okay just start start playing. playing yeah um, you know before uh, we had challenges and cups um, yeah none of that's going on right now so everything's online and uh there's basically easy steps to you know online and uh, that's the best way to do it you know currently is there like a good starter deck that people buy online um, yeah to there's, mess up? Um, there's starter decks and then there's battle ready decks um you know, you could start off with a, a standard you know, starter deck. Um, I think the latest ones are Blastoise and Venusaur. And those are both pretty good? Um, yeah, to get started, yeah, they are. Uh, but competitive-wise, uh, competitive uh, the battle-ready decks are more suitable for that. Okay. What are the battle-ready decks? Uh, they got one. The latest one is uh, Zacian ADB. Uh, um, the ADP one. And then, mm. I love that. Eldegoss. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, I know what you're talking about. They're they're the they had like the black and gold, and they had yeah. the three. Okay, those yeah. are those are what the battle ready decks are. Okay, I have I've been thinking about picking those up, but I think that's pretty much. Yeah. Okay, that is that's really gorgeous, man. How is that Eldegoss? That shiny Eldegoss not in your deck? You have a whole bunch of other ones in um, your deck? Yeah, I already got one here in my deck. <laughs> yeah. I run a one of so. But I just I just got that that one. Hmm. I just got that one, so I just I haven't put it in one of my other decks yet. But, uh, yeah. How long have you been playing? Like uh, going the game? on five years. Okay. Yeah, going on five years. And then when like the I mean, new... I've always been a fan, you know, mm -hmm. a fan. But just uh, I so, recently got back in it five years ago. Okay, so like when the new meta comes, you just get rid of all your old stuff. You trade yeah, it in and you get the I'm new stuff. Yeah, I'm more of a, a, a standard player. format guy, so yeah. Expanded, I'll play a little bit if I have the cards, mm -hmm. but uh, mainly uh, standard format. Do you have a favorite deck of all time? Like, what was the most fun? Man, I don't know. So far, I would have to say the old Metagross GX deck was one of my favorites. Okay. Um, and then currently, I would say uh, Amazing Rare Box, even though it's, it don't do too good, but I still like the concept. Of it's the just day. like really fun. Yeah, just really fun to play. Yeah, you know? yeah, those are really fun. Like whenever I watch people online play those decks, it's like just how they figure out a way to get all those different types of energies to put yeah. on it and then just destroy the other team once they finally yeah, figure yeah. that way and like get that all set up. Yeah, it's, it's pretty great. great. It's pretty great. Um, fortunately, it doesn't, it's not too consistent, so it really does perform well in terms yeah. of stuff. Yeah, all these decks, are these like, and, and this is something I don't know too much about decks, is I hear like, Picaron deck, in my case, like Turbozation deck. Yeah. Are these all decks that people just have like printed online? So these are good decks. Are there any decks out there that people just like? I just created this deck myself, and I want to see how it does. Are you um, like? Or do you just like find one of those decks, and then you just like train some? You trade some trainers, and you just like just make little little yeah. things to it to make it your own. Yeah. Uh, mainly the the popular ones you hear, those are the meta defining decks, but. Uh, Every now and then you will see somebody create their own, you know, uh, there's a, a famous player from Japan, he's known for creating random decks that, you know, nobody would even think of, and he does perform well. He won Worlds one time. So he, he made this deck that was in the meta at yeah. all, and he just got first place. And Worlds, the World what? Tournament, yeah. That's so see, like, cool. This one is, uh... Okay. I'll go behind you. Yeah, this one is, uh... Cinescorch. Oh, that's Max. cool. Yeah. I see that one a lot online. Yeah, that one's uh, pretty popular right now. Uh, see, uh, this is really cool. I didn't think I was going to come out here and see a whole bunch of decks. This is awesome, though, man. Yeah, it's my backpack I keep. And then this one's uh, Decidueye. The, 
the Sidui one with uh, goons. Okay. Bird goons. It has like a bunch. It has some like shiny Decidui, or it has like. Really um, I haven't just Decidui I haven't, GXs. Yeah, yeah, I haven't gotten them. Uh, but this one's the anti GX. Uh, gotcha. You can't GX. touch them, right? Yeah. Those guys can't touch the Decidui. Yeah. And um, so yeah, I, I usually go by that. And um, I have created some, but I'm not. I'm not too creative. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. So they really don't do well. <laughs> they really don't do but I tried, you know. I, I yeah, tried. at least you tried. Yeah, you know, I tried though, right? I try to have fun every once in a while. It was like me as a little kid. I played a little bit, but I would just play with my, you know, Charizard. He wasn't a good card, but he just looked awesome. And this so one's would... uh, Picarom. Okay. Yeah, Picarom. This one. Um, and I built this one. This one was pretty neat. It kind of didn't pop up too well. It's a uh, Italian, Italian V Max. Okay. And it has a uh, um, actor result. I can't pronounce his name. Yeah. And it basically, you just uh, stack up damage counters. You know, you stack them up. Yeah. And uh, spread them around and stuff like that. And then uh, this one's the amazing rare. This one's the amazing rare day. I got a lot of proxies in here, so if you see old cards, it's because I use them as proxies. So, so what do you mean, like as, as a proxy? Like, um, you know, the current format they have a uh, professor's research. Oh, so if you if professor research come out, you can't use the one before. Um, it? Well, it all depends on the set name. Like, um, let me see if I got. One here. Okay, so so from what I know, and then you can correct me. Um, new card sets come out, and then say like for professors research, there was like a different card that did the same exact thing yeah, as professor like research. Yeah, okay. So yeah, we'll show these two. Yeah. So you guys know that don't play the games. We have no, Professor no, Sycamore. He does discard your hand, draw seven cards, and then we have professors research. You know, discard your hand, thing. draw some cards, same thing. Okay. And so you can't have a deck that has both of these cards at the same time? No, no. What it is is uh, this printed, <laughs> this certain printed one is outdated. It's expanded. I could play this in expanded, but in the standard format, it's not allowed. Only these newer ones. Okay. And how do you know when that happens? Um, every, uh, every August, usually every two years or every year, it'll... The Pokemon, uh, they'll put it on the website. Which uh, which ones are gone? Ones are legal and which ones are expanded? Yeah. Uh, okay, that's good to know. Cause yeah, I hear about that every once in a while. I see like that. Cause like uh, the only place to get my information is Tricky Gem, like I said before. Yeah, and this one's uh, ADP. That's the one that everyone's afraid of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's not so bad anymore. It's kind of it's kind of dying down. So uh, there yeah. won't be too much work. But there's always that one deck mm -hmm. that everybody's afraid of playing. Mm -hmm. But uh, no, this one though is it really takes the cake because yeah, yeah, I mean I you basically break, break the rules. You know, yeah, you Pokemon. get an extra prize, right? Extra prize, you know, the thing, and then uh, two prize yeah. Pokemon are now three prize. So you knock out two three prizes and game's over. Yeah, and the one prizes are now two prizes. Yeah. So you can't even just like play around with those anymore. Yeah, that is definitely it's gonna be like if they make another Pokemon have that kind of ability. I wonder who it will be. I don't know. Uh, they usually have their favorites, you know. Uh, yeah. This one was kind of surprised though with the three, you know, tag teams. That's cool. All right, man. Well, thanks so much for coming out again. Yeah, man. Little, no no problem. Bump. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All, right. All right. So that was Freddy, man. That was really, really awesome. I didn't expect to meet somebody who was like competitive player. So that was really, really awesome. And he had some awesome cards and just like learning about battling like the Pokemon TCG <sighs> yeah, and he won a whole box like just for like getting into the the tournament thing like I could I don't know it's making me think about becoming a competitive player the goal is to get food for my wife so she doesn't kill me. So we're going to Jack's. I think I know where Jack's is. I think I do. I think I do. Let's go.